Welcome to the Whiskey Vault. I'm Rex. I'm Daniel. He is a level three whiskey sommelier and a raging diva, as you are about to find yeah, out. Yeah, he's a whiskey merch. And, and um, so uh, what were you doing last Friday, Rex? Have you ever been on a YouTube channel that had uh, 20,000 views? Oh, you're still talking. <laughs> oh, I just heard this dull roar of douche. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't understand words coming out of your mouth. Because but... I have. <laughs> and now let's drink to it. All right, here we go. Glenn Moray. Now this is by request. You want to read the request? Because I'm the what? Comment reader. Just keep adding the titles. <laughs> <laughs> Mooch, comment reader. Uh. I'm so prestigious at this point. Uh, this is from Shadows DML. Hey Dan, can you please- Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> For how many videos do we have up right now? I don't know, 80 something. Okay, how many times in 80 something videos have I introduced myself as Dan? I'm not listening, I don't know, you tell me. <laughs> Never. <laughs> All right, so- So he's obviously talking about somebody who else. Who is it again, what's his name? Uh, Shadows DML. Okay, Shadows, grateful you commented, but stop calling me Dan. He's not, obviously not yeah. grateful <laughs> at all. <laughs> Such a pretentious I mean, ass. Can you please review? I'm Glenn, not a Dan. The, Glenn Murray Port Cask finish. I believe we can, considering it's yes. right here. It's right here. So Glenn Murray is a classic space side, mm -hmm. and uh, it's uh, Ooh, so sweet. been making whiskey for a long time. So sweet. This was a product of I think the distiller before the guy that took over recently, and he Carl was doing sweetness. a bunch of different uh, wine cask variations of Glen Moray. Yeah. So there's like nine variations coming out right now. Mm -hmm. Apple, Tawny Port. They put it in for eight months. They took it and they aged it normal the way they tr traditionally do with Glen Moray. Then they finished it for eight months in port. Mm. So, caramel, apple. Uh, now here's the interesting thing. Super sweet. What I'm trying to do, other than what you're doing, which is the correct thing, is I just had Tawny Port last week for the first time in like eight months. Okay. And I remembered how much I love Tawny Port. Yeah. I used to drink it all the time with cigars. But since I got obsessed with whiskey, I've totally dropped off the Tawny Port radar. Sure. I, I'm trying to look for the memory of Tawny Port now, of just Tawny Port, right. instead of what, it, in what Tawny Port results in. Okay, you go down memory lane. I am getting... <laughs> <laughs> a very, very <laughs> appley, <laughs> sweet whiskey, super friendly. Uh, this, uh, whew, I, I would be surprised if there's any depth, smokiness, challenging flavors once I get into this. We'll see. No, there's not. Woo, that is sweet. That's a dessert Man, whiskey. It is. All day long. Sugary sweet. Okay, so here's the thing. It's like they mix sugar in with the whiskey. And it's not, what I love about Tawny Port is Tawny Port to me always tastes of sweet almonds. Mm. And I really love that sort of true dessert, candied sweet almond right. vibe. Mm -hmm. I'm not getting that in this whiskey. I'm getting the super clingy sweet, but it lacks the depth of even a Tawny Port. No, these are very light, sweet, top level flavors uh, sprinkling around. Not challenging in any way, shape, or form. No, it's not bad. Don't get us. I mean, it doesn't taste bad. I don't drink it right. and go, oh, that's disgusting. Well, it's perfectly enjoyable. This is not the kind of whiskey that I would sit down and really, you know, try and pick apart the flavors and the yeah. nuance. It's just on the front end, on the nose, it's what's going to be at the beginning of the taste, the middle of the taste, even the aftertaste. It's all... All the same. It's all the same thing, and it's not a bad thing if you're really into those sweet, friendly whiskeys. All right, Dan, what else do you got on? Ah, another... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, that was really boring. I mean, I feel like... Uh, so, the comments have been really cool, and by the way, uh, um, so, uh, last Friday, I was on a... Oh! Well, I... I, I uh, what were you doing last Friday? All right. You know what I was doing? You're not being on Modern Rogue. Here's what I was Guess doing. Guess who's been on Modern Rogue twice. Here's what I was doing. I, uh, I, I'm, I'm doing a little YouTube there. I'm going through my websites and, uh, and then check out the Modern Rogue. And I see Daniel, his episode's up. And this thing was like posted seven minutes ago. So yeah. I, so I sent him a little message. It's like, hey, Dan. Ah, you did not. <laughs> He's like, hey, liar. hey, you don't, you don't even polite enough to do greetings. Your emails don't have greetings. <laughs> like, hey, Daniel, they just start. <laughs> so, it's like, uh, your your latest episode of Modern Rogue is up. 
So, good on you. It's looking good so far. I'm in the middle of watching the thing. I did what did you good. send me? I don't remember. Mm. <laughs> Wait, here we go. <laughs> this is me giving him a very friendly, supportive, kudos, heads up. The thing is online and it's looking really good. And then Dan. <laughs> still looking this up. He's Dan still over here. Dan. Dan over here. The shadows, we have you to thank for this moment. He replies, Bastard. in all caps, I'm famous. <laughs> you may now have a signed 8x10 of me now, if you like. <laughs> that's true, I did, I did reply with that. You're creating a monster, people. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> but if you haven't seen the episode, it is uh, really nicely done. Mostly because of how good looking I am. No, Brian Brushwood. He can polish a turd. <laughs> and he made you look amazing. <laughs> Actually, I don't think it's Brian that's doing that. I think it's his guys who are editing the videos. <laughs> yeah, you uh, shot for like five hours and you got like, what, a three minute episode? Yeah. <laughs> it only took us four days <laughs> to get that 20 minute episode. Yeah. So, um, for all the new people from Modern Rogue, welcome. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. We owe it to Modern Rogue that our subscriber count has gone from 250 to 600 and or 500 and change. Yeah, no, no. Here's a matter the thing. of uh, three days weeks. ago. Three days ago, we were at five. No, four days. Ago, we were at 500 mm -hmm. and change. Now we're like at 600 and something. Oh, we are. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Sweet. Welcome. Glad you guys are here. All right. Now that we're you're welcome, we're wrapping this up because yeah. there's not much more to say. There's about. nothing to say about this damn Glenmore. I just before we shut it down. Yeah, I'll try something else. Well. No, we do need to compare. No, the rest of the Glen Morays are that boring. I, I was gonna get another Glen Moray. No, I'll tell you what's not that boring. Uh, that one, the Scotch. Yeah, that's a Chardonnay. Yeah. Finish. Yeah, I didn't say good. It's even sweeter. No, it's impossible for it to be sweeter than this. Okay, look, here's how much I'm not a huge fan of Glen Moray. I have four bottles of Glen Moray <laughs> down there, all unopened. <laughs> <laughs> right? I'll pour this for you. Okay, yes, do that. Did you pour you did, did you, you re-pour yourself? No, I didn't re-pour. We've been talking so damn much. Uh, hardly... And we haven't really been drinking it because I'm not really a fan of it. We don't have a ton of glassware back there. About half the glasses are in my office. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> I wonder how they got there. <laughs> Alright. Alright. I will be the judge of which is sweeter. Wait. Do you yeah. want a, a beautiful visual? Are you ready? Yeah. You ready for this, Chad? Slow mo the shit out of that one, Chad. No, not sweeter. Not sweeter? Nope. Wait, wait, wait. Well, let me have some. Damn it. <laughs> well, I mean, I guess it makes sense it wouldn't be sweeter because the Chardonnay is not as candied. Mm, not sweeter. Is it good? Um, if you like Chardonnay. <laughs> if you like Chardonnay. It tastes Chardonnay. like Chardonnay. Uh, both of these are perfume whiskeys. It really smells like Chardonnay. Yeah, perfume whiskeys. This is Chardonnay. Oh, yeah, no. This is Chardonnay whiskey to the extent that we had that hops whiskey. Uh, it was acceptable for what <laughs> it was supposed to be. Yeah, okay, so I'm gonna go back to this tawny port yeah. to cleanse the palate from that Chardonnay. No, sweet, super sugary, perfume type of whiskeys. I prefer, prefer the port. The port has more interesting If you're into notes. that kind of thing, then this could be for you. Otherwise, uh, get something less. Sugary sweet. Yes, and until then, may your crazy stay this side of legal. May you return before we have time to miss you. <laughs> Cheers. Do liking, subscribing, and commenting. Yeah, there's a sign and everything. Rex made it.